guys, today I'm going to be talking about why the Cleveland Cavaliers have no chance in beating the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. Despite that this video was supposed to be made even before the game one started, but it didn't. So before, I'm not going to change my comments on what I was going to say anyways, but I will say the Cleveland Cavaliers proved the whole entire world wrong that they, they despite that they lost because of... J.R. Smith, he went to go get the Henny instead. That they could at least put up a fight and they won't make it a boring series. So let's say, because my prediction was, all right, there's a chance that the Warriors can sweep the Cavaliers. But knowing LeBron James, look, he put up 51 points in game one. There's no way in hell he's going to let himself get swept like he did in 2007 against the San Antonio Spurs. With that being said, I already knew it was going to be Warriors versus Cleveland Cavaliers because I even, before they both played Game 7, I had been doing this. Like, I was just ch checking the statistics on both teams, how they were playing in the playoffs. And Cleveland Cavaliers, when it comes to free throws, look what happened in Game 1. George Hill, you missed that free throw. They're very bad at free throw percentage. They have not been beyond over 76%. And the Warriors in each series, they've been over 80% or 80%. The lowest they've been is 80%, but they've always been over 80%. Warriors have averaged over 100 points each series. The Cleveland Cavaliers only did that and guess with what team? The Raptors. Because the Raptors are garbage. We all know that. Now LeBron James cannot be the only one scoring. Look at what happened in game one. He scored 51 points. 51 points. Did that help them win? Absolutely not. And you see Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. As long as Steph Curry averages like 25 points and Klay Thompson can average from 15 to 20 points and KD from 25 to 30 points, they'll be good. No doubt about that. Because that's how it's kind of been. LeBron James just averages way too much. Like, he averages like half, almost half, major, almost half the team points. No doubt about that. Now, let's do this. George Hill versus Steph Curry. George Hill's defense ain't that good. We all know that. His offense, not that bad, but it's not the best. And it's his first time in the final, so look, and he cracked under pressure. He's a he's an 80% shooter or like 84% free throw shooter, and look what happened. In the moment when it most mattered, choked. Now Steph Curry, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant look like nothing. Made important free throws. He gave Steph Curry KD. Although that call was like, it was kind of like, oh, they're going to review it, but they reviewed it. Look, KD not, knocked down two clutch free throws to tie the game. LeBron James goes ahead. He does like a layup, I believe. And then Steph Curry goes in for the foul and one. So he goes to the free throw line and he ties it. I would say sweep, but like I said, LeBron will not let that happen. Now, if that happens, I will be shocked just because knowing LeBron, I he can't let that happen, you know? I mean, okay, it's not going to hurt him as bad because he doesn't have a team. His team is trash. He's lit it's the Cleveland LeBrons, literally. But a 4-0, he does not want to go out like that. He went a 4-1. The max I'll give him is six games. There's no way in hell. That's just being nice. Just the way they played on game one. But J.R. Smith, his shooting has been terrible. When it comes to playoffs, J.R. Smith is terrible, but terrible. Kevin Love. He puts good amount of numbers. Maybe he needs to do a little more. But like other than that, look, it's LeBron James, Kevin Love. Corver, he's a sharp shooter. He should at least average 10, 10 points a game. He can try. Okay, I'm a former Lakers point guard off the bench, Jordan Clarkson. Boy, you garbage, bro. You I mean he did better with the Lakers, obviously. They suck. But I guess it's just the momentum. Well, I'm not sure it's in the moment that's too much. It's the finals. Like, he's been playing terrible. He's been missing open three-pointers that he would usually make with the Lakers when he was. The only issue right now that I... The only thing that the Warriors... They look like they... In a way, they kind of struggle. But somehow, they end up averaging over, like, 35% in the three-point. Like, they need to 
for if they if they make their three pointers forty percent, it's over for sure. I mean, it's already over, but like it'll be even worse. Like it'll be a slaughter. Look, the first round, three point shooting the in the whole series thirty three percent. Second round, thirty two percent, and third round, thirty eight percent. Now, if they do what they did with the Houston Rockets, thirty eight percent from shooting beyond three, they'll be good. As long as they have above. 35% I believe I think that would be better Let's see Look at the Cleveland Cavaliers Weren't that bad Look First round 32% Second round 41% And third round 32% uh, So the second Once again Their stats Against the Raptors Overall Everything's better Why? Because they're garbage Raptors Against LeBron's team They can never beat them So they suck I don't I really don't even want to count that It's really Dumb how I feel like this series is gonna go. Obviously, I I knew they're gonna they're gonna win both at home. That's for sure. So get, they're taking game one, game two. They're going to Cleveland. I'll say that I'll let the Warriors take that third game, and then fourth game, LeBron's gonna be like, "Hell no, I'm not trying to get swept and at home." But the Warriors will be like, "Nah, they want to do it because you know three one lead. What happened like two years ago? They want to win the championship back at home, so it's gonna be three one. Take it back to Oracle." Game five, and still the back-to-back -back champions, Golden State Warriors. That's how. That's how I think it's gonna end. This is the most that LeBron's been an underdog in his whole career. Yeah, was when he went against the San Antonio Spurs. What do you guys think? Comment below. Which team is worse, the team he had when he went to the finals with the San Antonio Spurs, or the team he has now going against the Golden State Warriors? I mean, I feel like I'll say in 07, just because. This team, they got pretty, not that bad players, but they just, I don't know. It's, majority of them is the first time. Actually, all of them is the first time in the finals, almost, except like Kevin Love, Jared Smith, so majority of them. Or playoffs. Actually, no, because George Hill has been in the playoffs. So, majority of them, I don't know. And if you really think the Cavaliers are going to win, what, what are you on? Let me know, because that's some very strong stuff that makes you think and believe that Cavaliers are gonna win. <laughs> what are you on, buddy? <laughs> I bet, I actually had people bet with me that the Cavaliers are gonna win. Easy money. Imagine I lose. Psych! Comment below who you think is gonna take the series and in how many games. And finals MVP, this year I'm gonna end up giving it to Stephen Curry because the way he played in game one too, Damn. I mean, KD, you know, but Steph Curry, I'm going to give it to Steph Curry this year. So that's what I think. Oh, and I believe Iguodala is coming back for game two because it said most likely to come back. I got a notification. If not, he's for sure coming back in game three most likely. If not, I don't even know. But the fact that if Iguodala comes back, it's going to make everything harder on LeBron James. Why? Because if they have to say since... Here, me, say I'm Steve Kerr. All right, Iguodala just came off an injury, so I'll make him come off the bench. All right? So take out KD. Meanwhile, KD's out. Put Iguodala in. Make sure you leave, like, Steph Curry or Klay Thompson in. But, you know, KD will be on LeBron James. So when KD comes out, Iguodala will come with fresh legs, and he'll be on LeBron James, and he'll put him... LeBron James will have to go against someone with fresh legs and then keep stretching back and forth while Iguodala and KD are resting... Or they can both be on the floor and trade, you know, stuff like that. It's just too much for LeBron. He can't just... When it comes... Basketball is a team sport. One person is not going to win everything for you. Love and positivity. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Warriors back-to-back -back champs. I have the Curry. Curry sets, fires, puts it up. Bang! Steph Curry from way downtown. And the first half...